All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're going to do another whip and chat today. All right. Okay, we're working on Diamond Art Club's Frosty Forest Friend by Donna Gelsinger. Square drill, 19.7-inch. Uh, oh, excuse me, 19.7 inches by 26.4 inches, 50 centimeters by 67 centimeters. Uh, 38 colors and two ABs, 125 and 133. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're a shinier type of drill with an iridescent coating that resembles the northern light. All right, so, all right, just working on, uh, yeah, we'll just work up here for now. Let's move the canvas down a bit. I may have to move the camera accordingly, but yeah. All right, so 3841. I just have a few more of these. All right, hopefully everybody's having a good day. It's a little warmer today than it has been past a little bit. All right. Not where I wanted to put that. <laughs> okay. That Double check that. Bird's chest will look weird otherwise. No, not, that's where it goes. Okay, that's an arrow. There, double checked. <laughs> All right. Yeah, pretty straightforward day today. Oops. Too really calm for a Thursday. I work this weekend, so. See what I can do for whipping chats today. Get those, get them in when I can. Yep. A little busy this morning. Could have done a uh, whipping chat this morning, but that's okay. I just uh, record when I can. No big. I have no set schedule. I probably won't have a set schedule ever. Because life is unpredictable. Okay, I had to pause for a second there. <laughs> Mom came in. Okay, we're good. All right, we're just working up by the birds. Just working up here. There's a few more of this uh, blue. I hope. I've had to go back for the plus sign a few times and uh, fill in places I've missed. Uh, I love that plus symbol. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, my dad's and I's turn to cook. So, uh, dad and I get subs on Thursdays and then, uh, Get my mom a salad for supper. <laughs> That's our version of cooking. We all know how to cook, but yeah. Just, yeah, just saves a bit of meal planning. It's kind of an, one of those expected meals uh, during the week. If, uh, Yeah, if I'm on working days, my dad just goes get the sub because uh, he knows what I have on my sub. It's always the same. I don't really change it up. Oh, excuse me. Oh, boy. But yeah, it's Thursday already. <laughs> yeah, just uh, worked Monday, Tuesday. Had yesterday and uh, today off. Back at work all weekend. Uh, day shift. So yeah, I don't know. we have to take turns uh, with the shifts. So 
think it's my, yeah, first weekend. I have one more weekend of days. to change the wax. <laughs> it's starting to fall off a lot. There we go. All right. Oh, here are a couple of uh, arrows nestled in here. Jeez, gotta love the symbols that are just like everywhere. Just in like the most obscure places. There we go. Alright. <laughs> yeah, right here too. Okay, I'll just get more drills. <laughs> I have a few more, but oh boy. My luck. <laughs> Finding more symbols that I thought I had finished. Surprise. Alright. It's always better to have uh, more drills in your tray than uh, not very many. <laughs> so you can always pour it back in. <laughs> You see at these unexpected uh, pop-up symbols you've already done. Happens to me all the time, so if it happens to you as well while you're diamond painting, you pour like a the next color thinking you're done a symbol. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. Having to get a previous symbol out back out to place like one or two drills that I missed. <laughs> Happens to me all the time, so no sweat. Yeah, I'm seeing an A, B spot that I missed. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, and that's the beauty of uh, these symbols here. I'll just uh, do that now. Because the second I forget about A symbol, the yeah. <laughs> the second I see a symbol that I've already done, and if I don't do it right away, I'll just find it again and just be upset all over. <laughs> just be like, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. I just have one set of drills out at a time, but yeah, these surprise reoccurring symbols. Just make life so much fun. Okay, that's solved. <laughs> well, that's why we have symbols. So, right down to the color. I'm sure some people would just be like, eh, I'm just use an adjacent color. That, that, that would drive me nuts. Fully knowing that putting a drill on the wrong symbol. <laughs> OCD man, OCD. <laughs> right. Go. All right. Hopefully your crafting is going well. Whichever canvas you're working on. There's a, some people still in a huff about the not getting new kits in their diamond art clubs. Oh boy, 
just be thankful that you can get Diamond Air Club games. <laughs> Just be thankful that you can uh, get those kids. <laughs> get these kids. Yeah, they're phasing them in, and people are just not having fun with that. Like, you're getting a kid. <laughs> like, each diamond painting kit from Diamond Art Club, you get what you need to work on said kit in the box. And I guess people just want the cover minders that now come with the kits. I'm like, wow. It's about the only change I see, really. Uh, new cover minders, probably more baggies or something, but... Yeah, I can be upset or just get a new kit eventually. Like, Maybe in a few more months or so. It's not Diamond Art Club's fault. They're just phasing out their inventory of kits. I don't know. It happens. Why have a whole bunch of old kits sitting around doing nothing when these new kits are out? Uh, it's FIFO, first in, first out. Uh, sure, another cover minder would be great. I like the ones I have. I'm grateful for the ones I have. I've supported... Uh, fellow creative people, fellow artists, who designed the cover minder. So, <laughs> yeah, the dragon eye is just over here on the other end right now. But yeah, weird how that's just seeing. Just short of an hour. Okay. Alright, yeah, my camera's in a funny position. So is the canvas, but that's okay. No, I'll have to move the canvas around as I need to, depending on what we're working on here. Okay, let's uh, fill in the bird here. We'll do the pregnant stick once I put this. Uh... Yeah, we'll do uh, this pregnant stick symbol here. <laughs> That's uh, there's a lot of nicknames for the symbols. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I'll fill in the animals this time. I can always do background. Uh, some other time. Did background uh, a couple of whipping jets. Oh, thirty-eight fifty-five. If I'm correct. Yeah. Do your name the symbols. In different ways. That's what I mean by the pregnant stick. Yeah, this one. It's yellow with a black stick. Yeah, it's just that one. <laughs> pregnant stick. I think it goes a couple ways left or right facing the bump. <laughs> yeah, it's terminology. It works. Okay. Stick 3855. Not much more of this color left, but yeah, yeah. Probably get like a couple percent extra that you need. Diamond Art Clubs. Alright, there's a little bit in the squirrel's tail here. Are we still in view of the squirrel's tail? Okay, good. So that's where most of the Symbols there. Okay, so just a nice little, I don't know, yellow here. Uh, pale yellow. It's <laughs> literally four drills there. So this is kind of like, yeah, just like an accent color. Just an ever so slight color. Yeah, it's specific. Okay, there's a bit. And squirrel's paw here. I think that's a paw. Hand. Appendage. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We'll just yeah fill in the squirrel for now. Well, the birds and the squirrel. Yeah, uh, got to give the other bird its body. <laughs> Yeah, 
there's a couple more blues left in the background, like the E's. Yeah, it's just <laughs> basically the snowman's body uh, plus the snow on the ground, I guess, is what the blue uh, wrap represents. The shades of blue down here. Okay, whoops. Uh, today's color to throw around is a uh, yellow. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Made it. Alright, this is just the breast piece of the bird here. Whatever bird it is. Get to the blue jay eventually. Bottom left hand corner of the canvas in the next section. Yeah, it's just hanging out on an evergreen tree, a miniature one. It's uh, different shades of green. <laughs> I think that's like the only, well, there's a shade or two of green up in the tree trunk. I think there's like moss or something on the tree trunks. I'm not sure entirely. But yeah. Okay. How are we doing for a time? 16. Okay. Yeah, so we did up there. Okay, we still get over here? Okay. There's a sparrow or something over here. The pregnant stick symbol. All right, right there. Oh, that could be the cover paper. I'm hearing like crinkling. It's like, what's that cover paper? Yeah, I kind of got the paper folded in half and like have a cover minder on the bottom <laughs> to kind of anchor it into place. Because pretty much for the next section, I'm going to have to take the cover paper off completely. Well, I might just uh, get a cover main, uh, minder and just uh, tack it on to the border so the cover paper is not going everywhere. Oops. Okay, there we go. Alright, pour this back in. Container. Yeah, not very much for that yellow. I hope. Famous lost words. <laughs> it's like every other symbol. Okay. 55. Okay, number sign. 977. Okay. Yeah, pound sign, number sign. Yeah, I think it's pound. The other one is star on the phone. 977. Or tic tac toe. <laughs> yeah, tic tac toe uh, grid. Okay. 977. How many times can you say 977 new drinking game? <laughs> Please don't drink and drive. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, have them marked on the sticker sheet. Thank goodness for the sticker sheets. It's... Yeah, I'd be like, what number am I on all the time? And with these uh, smaller stackable containers. Okay, there's like literally five there. Okay, the squirrel has a lot more going on here. All right. All right. Still on the squirrel, right? Yeah, I'm going like back and forth on this. Sorry. <laughs> Just where the symbols are. Just in terms of working on filling the animals in. 
fluffy tail squirrel here. Yeah, this orange is just like here and there on the tail. Soft squirrel, warm squirrel, squirrel, little ball of fur. <laughs> so cute. Probably wouldn't like hold and pat a squirrel. I'd just look at them from a distance. I think they have a kind of a wolverine type claws. I don't know if they're retractable or not. But yeah, uh, squirrels are key from a distance. They scrap in her front yard tree because uh, my dad buys shelled peanuts for them and puts them in a squirrel feeder. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta eat too. <laughs> it uh, amuses Axel. Yeah. My black cat. He loves the nature screensaver. Nature fighting over bird seed and uh, peanuts. Little sparrows have a time. Uh, bird feed like falls off from one of the squirrels like ravaging the bird feed sometimes. They get whatever falls on the ground in the snow. They're just having a time just away from every the bigger birds like blue jays or the squirrels. <laughs> They just uh, pack on the ground and have a snack there. Don't have to go to the feeder, generally. <laughs> I think they wait for other birds to knock stuff down. <laughs> it's a circle of life out outside that front tree. I think it's like a lilac tree or something. Gets flowers on it. Or... Some sort of cherry tree or something. I don't know. I don't know. Tree doesn't have a definition tag on it. <laughs> Wild cherry tree. I have no clue. Gets flowers, then some sort of berry on it. Choke cherries. Uh, I don't know. I might be describing the wrong tree too. Okay. Number signs are just here and there. Oh no, a crooked drill. Oh my gosh. You didn't see that. <laughs> just kidding. If your drills are really crooked, just uh, get a pair of tweezers. Uh, you can just uh, lift them, lift the drills right off of the canvas. Generally, without too much difficulty. The Diamond Art Club uh, adhesive is fairly forgiven. Has some give to it, yet the drills stick pretty good for the most part that uh, I've experienced. I think there's another canvas that I did for my nephew. It was Deadpool or whatever. And uh, yeah, I found myself pressing drills back onto the canvas. I think they still pop. Just a couple places like it's a very popular canvas because my sister-in-law does a lot of calls in that room like a lot of Skype calls or whatever for her work. She's telecommuting I guess for her work and uh, yeah I guess the Deadpool picture <laughs> canvas is in the background. I guess she gets comments on it, or it's just recognized while well, she's in her calls. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Yeah, I 
that's not a Diamond Art Club or anything. It's just uh, another kit I worked on. Well, before YouTube, so. Yeah, uh, I just got it for my nephew. <laughs> hey, you like Deadpool? Okay. Hey, I found a canvas and bought it and then just, like, uh, put it together. <laughs> Assembled it. There's a Harry Potter uh, crest with all four houses, Hogwarts houses on it. That's on, I put it on my wish list for Diamond Heart Club. Yeah, because they have Harry Potter stuff on there now. And I got all four. Or, yeah. Kind of put it on my wish list to eventually do it for my nephew. I'm all full, like, Harry Potter by the time I, like, even get the... Get it. <laughs> well, it's very colorful. All four houses. Hufflepuff, uh, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. Oh my gosh, that's probably the first time I've been able to name all four houses. And Harry Potter there. It's like a decade ago when I read the books. <laughs> Watch the movies, definitely. They're around. Probably like on a streaming service, Crave or something. Watch. I have the Blu-rays or DVDs, the series, the movie series, so really don't need a. <laughs> some. Oh, okay. I thought there would be more of that number symbol, but no. that's it. All right. Probably like almost twenty-six. Okay, I'll get ass out. Nine seventy six. Yep, just uh container up actually. Okay. Darker orange. It's an orangey brown. Okay, just keep it on filling the birds in here. I think the squirrel yep, there's a few asses as symbols in this squirrel here too. Alright, cool. Yeah, and there's like tree branches or something on here. It's just right on the edge too, isn't it? Yeah, pen's right there. I could barely see it. Okay, S. Camera's in a good position today, actually. <laughs> Considering. Yeah, I'm bottom right hand corner now. Hi. <laughs> yeah. It's going everywhere on this canvas for this whip and chat, so my apologies. Okay, yeah, these symbols are like here and there. All right, S. All right. Still in? Yeah, it's just like right on the edge, I bet. Oh, part of this. Oh, it's a leaf or something on the tree. Oh, okay. It's like a withered leaf. Oh, okay. Already. <laughs> Just following the canvas. Alright, but how are we doing for... Alright, so we've hit 29 minutes already. <laughs> hey, quality times, tons of fun. But anyway, yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile, uh, my Facebook business page, Echoes of Color. And that's a hyperlink, I believe. You just click on it or you can copy it. Put it in your address bar or, yeah. And uh, I have an Instagram uh, handle as well. So all three, I just try to keep the same update-wise. I just post there if I were to finish this section. That's the kind of thing I'd post. Uh, Instagram and my Facebook profile, I post meditation quotes every now and then. So if those come up, you'll probably see a lot of them on my Instagram. 
because I meditate as much as I possibly can at night. I don't know if you're supposed to do it during the day or at night, but yep. Just so you know, those quotes are there. I don't know if they're starting to repeat or not, so <laughs> some of them look very familiar. The quotes look very familiar, but anyway. Take care. All the best. Thank you for the support as always, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.